Well, let, let me let me stay with the plumbing for a couple yeah, of minutes. Okay, so w- when you go back to plumbing, I mean, the, people will say, oh, there's 20,000 miles of tubing in the blood vascular system or 40,000. The bottom line is there's a lot. And when you get down to the very end, the capillaries are so small that the red blood cells have to bend to go through there. And I ran into some interesting research last week where they were you know looking at basically tissue that had fibromyalgia and they were saying you know the tissue that has fibromyalgia looks exactly like tissue where you put a tourniquet on for nine minutes oh wow so it reduced okay. blood flow certainly well not only does it reduce blood flow but it actually creates a literal injury in the vascular system so what happens and this is back to you know manfred von arden what he was what he documented is that if you create a stress event and which is a any event that reduces oxygen for long enough i mean it can be a bruise it can be a concussion it can be a toxic trauma it can be a loss of zeta potential and if that injury or if that event simulates application of a tourniquet for 90 minutes then the inside lining of the endothelium bloats mm. it's an injury to the endothelium, but it causes a kind of inflammation that basically shrinks the capillaries. And once you end up with that style of injury, red blood cells can't go through that capillary anymore, create what I call a brownout. And so as we go through life, whether it's toxins or anything like that, we, you know, we end up with an increasing percentage of our body shut down. And it's so like when you take a look at LIVO2 and some of the really curious effects, um, the tissue that gets caught behind or suffocated by these, you know, I'll call it these stress events that in, 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 injure the vascular system, you know, basically stay alive for from the nearest I can tell 15 years. Yeah. Okay, but as we go through life and as we have these stress events, more and more of our vascular system or our bodies get shut down. So if you look at these mystery charts that say, oh, you lose 1% of your lung capacity a year. Oh, you lose this amount of, of, of ability to produce energy. What I've come to believe is that this loss of physiological capacity, loss of mental capacity, is at least partly, if not mostly, indicating how much stress has blocked blood flow to these tissues. And so when you started to mention, you know, the really good results with your patients, what I think is happening is we're basically opening that tissue back up and restoring, you know, vitality and function to tissues that were dormant so they come immediately back to life. 